There's this kid at the end of the road. It never fails rain or shine once the sun goes down and the street lights come on. One thing becomes clear. As the night gets darker and darker, that light at the end of the road gets brighter and brighter. He's always wearing Fortnite shirts and rocking their merchandise. One could say he plays too much, but that really isn't my business, I suppose. Night came, and as usual, the light at the end of the road would be on. I could see a shadow. It looked like the kid sitting down and had a headset on, no doubt probably playing Fortnite. I saw the light in the window strobe as if he was in some sort of gunfight. He lost, I'm sure he lost, because all I could hear was him raging from where I was standing outside. He's never done that before. I guess it wasn't welcomed or may have happened more to the houses closer to this kid's house because about an hour later, I see a cop car pull up. The parents answer the door. I wasn't the only one being a nosy neighbor, just about everyone on my block wanted to see the end of this terrible 12 year old boy. The light never went off, we thought it would. We thought it was all over, but when the cop left the house only 20 minutes later after getting there, we knew that wasn't the case anymore. A few days go by and nothing's changed, if anything it's gotten worse, the light was on all the time now as if this kid didn't have any school or responsibilities. What power does he have over his parents? The nights became worse as well, I could hear him screaming all the way into my own house. Before it was only if you were outside and if it was quiet out. Enough was enough and I was the one that called the police this time for a noise complaint. The same cop goes to his house and knocks on the door. The cop acts weird as if something's wrong. He then starts to beat on the door for minutes straight, and then when no one answers, he leaves abruptly. The kid was still in that room playing video games. We thought that there was no end to this madness, he's playing all the time and even had the cops on the run. I don't even think this kid even sleeps. I go to lay back down, and as soon as I lay back down I hear what sounds like a convoy of a ton of cars and I hear sirens. It's the police, that cop brought multiple cop units there, with a search warrant. The whole neighborhood this time was outside watching. We see the kid being brought out in handcuffs, fighting to be let go, demanding to go back into that room to play Fortnite. Then the grim secret came out. They wheeled out two bodies. It was his parents. We were all shocked and appalled. That's why it got so out of hand. He wanted to play the game so badly he would kill for it, and he did. The trial soon, the whole town is in shock still. The kid says he killed them while they slept the night the cop came the first time. He thought by killing his parents it would make everything go away and he could do whatever he wanted, but he was wrong. A new family moved in just recently, and I see that light come on from time to time at the end of the road. But at least I know there isn't a monster living there anymore. Or did something even worse move in?